Hey everyone! So, so I decided to be Asian for this video and have this in directly in the background. The lighting looks better uh, on me. Uh, so yeah, what should I say first? Um, yeah, I want to talk about this one thing that, I, well, uh, I wonder if you can relate to. So basically, uh, whenever I, you know, fall in love with someone or, you know, I have a crush or, you know, that attraction, right? Um, I start, I start comparing myself to them. Like, it, it being very, very hard on myself. It's like, you know, usually this crush happens on someone who's like, kind of, quote unquote, out of reach, right? So it's like, it used to be that in high school, um... I would crush on the guys who seem to be smarter, who seem to uh, have more of their life together, or they'd be like school club leaders. And who was I? I was uh, I was an anime addict, a game uh, addict, and uh, I felt so behind in how I was doing in school. Like re realistically speaking, right? Like these club leaders and stuff, and these people I thought were quote unquote better than me. They probably just had you know. Uh, quite a few flaws too that I just wasn't seeing them right you know I didn't really get to know them because I didn't dare to I'm like I just saw like this huge difference in hierarchy and and then you know I, I really beat up on myself for that it's like huh, look at you Lena um, you know like our it's like are you kidding me right <laughs> like are you kidding me there's no way a guy would want to go with some unconfident girl like you uh who's a slacker who's a lazy bum who's uh you know selfish and ungrateful um lots of criticisms and um uh you know it's still happening this pattern is still happening right but you know it starts going into the realm of character qualities it's like oh yeah this guy seems more mentally put together together than i am you know smarter way more intellectually smarter um you know better looking or whatever uh, i had a couple more uh, let's see witty charismatic funny can talk to large groups of people talk in front of large groups of people can come up with all kinds of interesting conversation topics and like Ugh, you know, all the ways I don't match up, you know, I'm an introvert, you know, I, I do not do jokes on the spot, you know, I'm, I'm a serious person, you know, you're, you're not, you're not getting like serious vibe from me today, but you know, you'll probably, you probably will on other days, um, but yeah, no, and you know, I'm this gloomy emo girl, really, like, uh, uh, you know, gloomy emo girl very negative uh bitchy uh uh you know what else what else oh yeah yeah you know i was i was born in a family where i had a lot of things handed to me and i didn't have to like struggle so hard and so uh you know i, I actually dated people in the past where they they kind of like implicitly judge me because you know, maybe I was spending money on things that they wouldn't spend money on, or, you know, um, it's like, he was literally like, oh, you millennials, you know, taking an Uber from, you know, $100 Uber or whatever, uh, yeah, just, you know, frowning at my lack of character, I, you know, you know, uh, I, I've, uh, you know, I've had depression, anxiety in the past. I really wasn't a hundred percent. When I had them, my emotions would be all over the place. Uh, I would find it hard to control my upset and anger, and I still do. I still do. I still hold resentment in my heart for a long time when, when I get upset. Um, yeah, like a lot of flaws, and you know, I put this person on a pedestal, right? So it's like. You know, that this person like we all have different strengths and weaknesses that I know right but sometimes my mind just gets in such a locked and fixed mentality where it's looking at everything that's wrong with me and everything that's right with the other person and, and then I start making this argument for myself that you know 
why this person would not want to be with me, period, right? Um, and uh, I, I kind of like wanted to mention this to illustrate like, you know, maybe how I and maybe how a lot of other people live under this hierarchy-based mentality. We're constantly comparing ourselves with uh, other people, people we interact with, um, right? It, it's like constantly like, I might be s- sticking with a, sc- a social group for a certain number of months, but then I'll start questioning how I don't match up to them. So, you know, I was with a very um, friendly church, uh, right? And they were very loving and all that. And they started feeling like I felt like I belonged in the first couple months. And then after that, I was starting to question myself because like, you know, uh, I just like, I feel that I fall so short of who a Christian should be, you know, who a good person should be. And I, I, I don't even have the will to fight, you know, my demons sometimes, a lot of times actually. So it's like, do I still belong to this community or are they going to like question the heck out of me, you know? So I'd have insecurities like that, um, you know, and yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, let me just say, it's all like, it's all an illusion at the end of the day because, um, you know, I'm pretty sure like if some of you were to look at me and, you know, how, like where I've gotten to in my life, some of you might feel insecure too. It's like, oh, this girl has a degree in technology and um, she's well-read, well-spoken, she can go on video, uh, you know, you can come up with your list of reasons too. Uh, oh, she's very expressive and creative, right? Um, she radiates this cool, like, you know, she's very joyful, um, right? Like, you, you, you get this image, like, you get this image of who I am, I guess, Um but my real response to that, you want to hear my response to that, right? It's like, yo, I'm just really, I'm just about the same as any one of you, to be honest. Because I, you know, I'm also comparing myself with other people too. And, um, and I don't share my mistakes and failures and fuck-ups, um, very publicly, you know, Um, I've had a lot of those, like a lot, I felt super beat up by life, I felt like I was the worst person on the planet, Uh, I felt that I deserved to die and be locked up in jail sometimes for, you know, um, some of the things I've done, which are actually not, uh, like, not even near as bad as the average criminal, well, yeah, like, but, but, but I think myself into that kind of corner, right? So, um, you know, I've gotten this far in life. I'm still like, you know, dissatisfied a lot of the times, right? I, I, I've, you know, I was more dissatisfied when I was a kid and a teenager. Um, but yeah, like, a lot of that hasn't disappeared. A lot of that pessim I do have a pessimistic mentality, a negative mentality, a little bit of a spoiled brat mentality. It, it's still there. It's still there. I, I'm I'm kind of like egotistical as well, like a fragile ego. You know, like yeah, there's just so many, um, so many things. Uh, so. So, uh, you know, it would be awesome if, you know, if you could see me as, I guess, more of like, a, you know, a peer, right? A peer in this uh, wicked journey called life. Um, wickedly cool and also wickedly not, like, uh, <laughs> it's like wickedly, just, just like think of the first word that comes to your head when you're on a roller coaster and screaming falling down and wickedly like turbulent let's just say that (laughs) it's like yeah no matter how many like um external achievements you get you know if you if your experience of life hasn't hasn't fundamentally changed 
you still feel like shit about yourself and you know uh, and you're only seeing the flaws and only seeing the deficiencies um it's it's about the same as when you started <laughs> right it's like there's times where i actually forget everything that i ever accomplished because at the end of the day like maybe that doesn't matter as much to me as um you know this sense of love this feeling that i am loved um that i'm safe that i'm with people i can open up around and is that you know anything related to a degree that i just took in order to survive right like is that related to you know character qualities i would say you know uh like i can name for as high as i can go but even that it's like yeah you know there's such a pressure to be a good person uh, a lot of time and I actually compare myself with you know I compare how good quote-unquote good I am and quote-unquote how mature I am uh, compared to other people but there's really like there's so many people to compare myself to in that realm it's like you know there's Jesus Jesus is like a spiritually very very elevated um you know, how, how, how could I possibly, you know, how could I possibly measure up to that level of goodness or, you know, self-sacrifice, you know, it, it, it can get very discouraging. So it's like, okay, you know, maybe, just maybe, maybe I need to like come up with my own definition of what good, what good Lena is going to look like, what good means to me um yeah it's like people from the outside might look at me and be like oh wow lena is pursuing a lot of things that do good uh for other people right but then my my response to that is you know am i am i really doing my best there also am i doing this just to look good right part of me might be doing that just to look good right um just to repay my moral debt um to society Uh, just to pay it forward because so many people have helped me in the past right I'm actually like not really that much better than any of you I think if you were born with my brain in my shoes uh, if you're you know um, if you're born with all like with the resources I have right you you'd end up doing the same things too Uh, we we all end up making the best of our situations um you know I had I was lucky to have a lot of starting stats kind of like prepared for me so I just needed to like take resources and use them and sometimes it was hard because I was depressed um and when I'm depressed I don't feel like using any resources to doing anything but (laughs) you know um step by step it's yeah it's still a bit of a battle and it's not like Oh, just because I achieved X, Y, Z goal that this is, this has stopped. No, it's a continuous process, personal growth. It goes on for the entire lifetime. Health and wellness also, it's like continuous, continuous process. You know, I could be, I could end up being one of those egotistical bitches who, who kind of say, oh, uh, I'm better than everybody else and I don't have to work anymore. Uh, I could, you know, and I could slack off and fall behind. I won't like reach where I'm meant to go. And also like, you know, you know, let less people want to hang out with me. <laughs> right. But if it's like, yeah, you know, like I wouldn't be that likable. Um, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, I, I hope, you know, just just saying all that kind of clears up my mind around hierarchy too it's like you know what what you know what are all these external accomplishments if um you know if the person who is accomplishing them isn't happy right uh isn't happy with themselves is just in a survival mentality or um they haven't reached their real objectives uh you know my real objective is to be part of a loving community i think um and that do i need much money to to get that really um no to be honest 
but that that's something I really want. Um, yeah. And wh- whoever I can help on this journey, you know, through sharing my story. You know, and whatever I can express through my art and music and through my writing and through video, right? Just doing the best I can. That's that's what we're all doing. So, I think you're all doing your best no matter where you feel you are on the social ladder. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, when we compare ourselves to other people, um, you know, it's, it, a lot of times it's not a fair comparison because we're comparing oftentimes the beginning of our journey in certain areas with the end of other people's journeys. And our own journey has yet to be written. The, the path that works the best for us is individually like it's it's very unique to each of us and it's designed to meet meet each of our unique needs and values uh, there's really no wrong path to grow and and you don't you, like the, so like people want each other to to be like these like companies say they want these kinds of professionals and marketers say oh you need to you need to be elegant or um successful or suave sophisticated whatever whatever you know whatever you are expecting yourself to be and you know it's honestly I don't think it's it's realistic to to live up to any perceived images of any of those things and suppress our real selves along the whole way. It's exhausting to do that. It's simply exhausting. I've tried that. I've suppressed myself for a really long time. And it is very, very draining to a point, you know, that that's another big reason for my depression. It's like it kind of just like kicked in really bad because because I was not being me I was not letting myself be bad at times be being bad at things and sometimes making quote-unquote imperfect bad decisions um, in relationships and otherwise so anyways um, I hope that was helpful um Again, let me know uh, wh- like if you've got any thoughts on this topic. I'd love to hear them. Um, but otherwise, I will see you around. Take care now.